Hello, my crafty peeps. It's Cheyenne from ecdesignstudios.com. Remember to check out my website for a full list of the products used and any dimensions. Follow me on Facebook for all the latest news and Instagram for sneak peeks and to see what goes on behind the scenes. All those links can be found in the description bar. So, welcome to day 12 of my 12 days of Christmas. This is it. This is the last of the series. So I thought we would use some Stamping Up products with some non-Stamping Up products to make a nice little gifty for um, someone who has their ears pierced in your life. So here's a list of what we're going to need. The Stamping Up Mini Jingle Bells. You're going to need two earring wires. You're going to need two of these. Oh, I can't pick them up. These pins here. So they've got a little loop on the bottom and they're just straight. I've got these two little beads. You can use any beads that you would like. I just thought that these were kind of snowflakey and fun. Um, need jump rings. So they're, they're little rings, but they're not welded shut on one side, so you can open them and close them. You need two of those, one for each earring. Um, these are all supplies that you can get in the jewelry making section of your local art craft supply store, such as Michael's. Uh, you're also going to need a pair of round nose pliers and a pair of needle nose pliers. These are also things that you can get in the jewelry making section. And when you're making jewelry, I do recommend getting the, the jewelry making tools. All right, so I am going to pop out two of the silver jingle bells. You could also use the red. I mean, this is, you can design this however you want. I'm just showing you a pretty easy, basic way to get this done. All right, step one is I am going to string up these little beads here. Oh look, I have a crimp bead. It, it snuck in. All right, so just popping that down at the bottom. And now you're going to take your round nose pliers, kind of bend that kind of at a 45 degree. Now, we don't need all of, all of this length here. You could use it, you could string up some beads on it, but I'm not doing that today. So on the jewelry making needle nose pliers, most of them have this little section back here, which can be used to cut. So just be careful when you're cutting because the end can kind of go crazy. So it's been a while since I've done this sort of thing. So generally you want to cut it so that it'll make a loop. And you only want, you know, as much as you need to make that loop. But, you know, it's some of it's a little bit of trial and error. See, I made that just a wee bit too big. So we're just going to bend that down and around. And there you go, you've got a loop. So you've got, you know, it going through the back, loop at the bottom, loop at the top. We're gonna to do the same thing to the other one. Gonna loop it through. Again, you can use whatever beads of your choice. Pop off a little bit of that in. Bend it over just a little bit. And grab it and do your, okay, I left a little bit too much on there. So I'm gonna cut off a little bit more. There we go. And bend it in, like so. So, all right, got another one with the two loops at the ends. Now, let us take the jingle bells and our jump rings. So this is where having both the round nose and the needle nose come in handy. So. You've got your little um, centerpiece there that is not solder, soldered, soldered together. And we're going to put the needle nose pliers on one side and we're going to use the round nose pliers and we're going to bend it back and forth. Don't try to pull it open. You're going to, let me see if I can get it so you can see this. So you're just going to pull one side forward and one side back, and that's how you open jump rings. If you try to pull them open, you're distorting the shape of the circle, and things can cannot go so well. So I'm just gonna take that jump ring, string it through the little hole, 
that we got and I'm going to place it then on the bottom a um, little bit and to close it I'm just going to put it back together the opposite way and that brings them right back together so now you've got your jump ring and your jingle bell on the bottom and now we're going to do the same thing with the other one This is what happens when you think you have it all together, but you don't. Let's try that again. There we go. Now it's securely on there. All right, so there is the basis of our earrings. And look at that, we're almost done. All right, on the bottom of all the earring wires, it's also like one of those same little rings going on. So, and all you're gonna do is twist it open so you can kind of see I'm just like twisting it back or forward, you know, whatever. Now, make sure that the front is going in the proper direction. So your earrings aren't facing backwards. So that would be rather tragic. And then you're just going to pull that back into place. So there we have. Oh wait, this spins around, so it's okay. There you go, spin, spin, right, right, round, baby, right, round. All right, so there we go. We've got one earring. Isn't that a gorgeous little dangly earring? Let's go ahead and do the other one. So again, I've got it, and I'm just going to pull that bit back. Put it on and then we're just going to put it right back in. There we go. So now we have two gorgeous little earrings that have a little jingle bell sound. Can you hear the jingle bell? It's a little jingle bell. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these into my ears and then show you how they look. So let me take out my, my Disney earrings because I have to be little Disney all the time. And let me readjust the camera so you can actually see. Okay, so this is a really up close and personal view of each other. Hi, hi, you probably more than you want to see my face. This is like, it's getting really personal really quickly. So, all right, so here's our little earrings. Aren't they so cute? I'm sure you know someone in your life who would love to receive these. So I'm also gonna have another video on um, how to go ahead and wrap these babies up. Little jingle jingle. And then I had jingle jingles in their ears and it's so magical because they're, they're Christmas bells. All right, so while, while we get here, I'm gonna move back a little bit because yeah, it's felt like I was invading your privacy there. So uh, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please remember to like and subscribe. Go ahead, give me a thumbs up. It'll be fantastic. I like it. Um, if you're already a subscriber, so glad to see you back here. You guys are great. I appreciate you so much. It's, it's so nice to feel loved. And like you guys like me. You really, really like me. All right. Um, if you have any questions, want to see a specific Stamping Up product demo, or are interested in having a virtual party with me, um, leave a comment or contact me. The best way to contact me for a virtual party is through my Stamp It Up um, website. So it's ecdesignstudios.com.stampinup.net. The link will be in the description bar below. Don't worry about writing all that down. Just click on the link. And there's a contact form that you can fill out. There's also a contact form at the bottom of my website if you need to contact me. Um, PDFs of all current Stampin' Up! catalogs can be found on my website. But if you want to hold one in your hands and, and love it and touch it and mark it up, then all you have to do is place an order with me and I will send those to you for free. We do have a new catalog that is coming out. The Occasions catalog starts January 4th. 
It's the spring summer sort of catalog. So the last holiday catalog was, you know, fall, winter, it had, you know, Halloween and, you know, Thanksgiving with the Paisleys and Posies and Christmas. This one is going to have more um, Valentine's Day and Easter and spring, summer stuff. I've, I've seen the catalog and there's some good stuff in it. I've got an order coming on the way. I just got the, the notice that it was shipped today, which is um, not today that the video is airing. So I might already have my products in my grubby little hands and I'll be doing an unboxing video to show you some of the new stuff. It's so exciting. But anyway, Thank you again for watching. Until next time, happy crafting and happy holidays. Bye.